Welcome to Know How To. In today's video, we'll see how we can access another computer from uh, your computer. So, have you ever wished that you could access some files on work computer when you are sitting in your home office, right? Or you need a report from your home computer that's during class. You can configure your computers to be accessible anywhere in the world from virtually any other computer. There are a variety of ways to do this, including built-in tools, downloadable programs, and browser-based solutions. So guys, we must first understand what is remote desktop. Well, it's a program or an operating system feature that allows the user to connect to a computer in another location. See that the computer desktop and interact with it as it if were local. It means like it should be connected in one network whether it is through the internet or any kind of network like LAN, WAN, right? So people use remote desktop capability to a variety of things remotely, including the how we can access a workplace computer from home or when traveling, as I had already said, access a home computer from other locations or fix a computer problem, which we generally have seen that in the most of the ID companies, there is a CIS team which provide desktop solutions, right? Yeah. So another way we we can also perform administrative tasks. In this tasks, we need a user with an administrative account and a user with a standard account. So we can access the standard account with administrative account in from anywhere in the world. We can demonstrate something such as process or a software application like. Uh, if you are uh, if you are required to do a presentation for your clients, you can access the remote computer and represent it. So, remote desktop connectivity relies upon any number of protocols, including remote desktop protocol, virtual network computing, and X technology and independent computing architecture. Remote desktop software exists for most operating systems and platforms, including handheld computing devices. Microsoft and Apple each have a product called Remote Desktop. Other remote desktop products include Citrix Xena, Crossloop, Jadoo, which is generally used for the iPhone iPod Touch, Go to My PC, PC Anywhere, and Chicken of the VNC. So in this video, we'll see how we can access another computer from a computer through one of those softwares, which we you generally use. So, all right. One of the softwares which we generally use for remote desktop is TeamViewer. This is a free program for home users that allows you to quickly set up a remote connection between your computers. As to so to save a time, we have already have the link. This link will be provided to you in our description and comment. So we'll copy it and paste it in the browser and hit enter. As we can see, the link in the link we can see there are various offices for the various operating systems like Mac or Linux or Chrome OS or Android. So as I'm running the Windows operating system, I'll download this software. This software I've already downloaded. So as you can see in the download folders, you just need to install it. We'll double click it and run. So a Windows pops up as we can see. As we can see, we, there are two options. How do you want to proceed? 
So we'll just install to access this computer remotely for the time being. And we are using as a personal laptop. So we will check box, we'll check the this personal or non-commercial use. And then accept finish. This window will pop up. Just so we'll click on the yes and installation completes. Yeah, so window pops up say, saying that we can see that uh, it is asking for a setup and un unattended access as we had already selected that. So we'll click on the next button. As we can see, it is uh, directly taking my computer name. So we'll enter a password. I will set a name and a personal password for this computer. We can enter the already we are have the already password that we are having, or we can enter a new password. As we can see, the next window is add this computer to computers and contacts. If you have a TeamViewer account, you can add this computer to the list of your computers. In your computer list, you will see if this computer is online and connected to directly. As I have already a TeamViewer account, I will directly check this checkbox and click on Next. This we can see that uh, the installation process has completed. And this will directly automatically get you into your TeamViewer sign. And so, as we can see, there are two options. One is for remote control and the other is for meeting. In meeting, we generally, while representing or uh, doing the presentation for your clients, we use this. So there are various options for this. One is the presentation, one is video call, and another one is phone. So for the time being, we don't want to do this. So we go to the remote control. So on clicking the remote control, we can see that there are two options, allow remote control and control remote computer. This allow remote control is your ID and password, which will automatically generate when we sign in. For connecting to the remote computer, we need the same software, the team viewer to be installed on the desktop. So as I had already connected to this, one of the, my partners, desktop it's showing here another option is there that which shows nearby contacts and devices remember this will only work when we are in the same network okay so we'll connect to this partner by clicking on the connect to partner as we can see here it is connecting so for this we have a password. Therefore, this we will have to take the password of our partner's desktop. As I had already connected to, I have the password here. And then log on. As we can see, it is saying we're connecting to desktop. Windows pops up. As we can see, we are able to access my partner's Amit. We can directly control anything. As I had said earlier, that uh, mostly we use the remote desktops in our IT technology to uh, provide desktop solutions. So as we can see, we can migrate to any any window, or we can copy any file. So, so we'll go to the folder of the client machinery and copy this file summer of 69 by brian adams is one of my favorite songs so i'm copying it and pasting it in my local desktop As we can see, a message pops up saying that clipboard transfer finished. So we'll again go 
to my remote computer and as we can see there is a menu minimize toolbar saying so this toolbar has various options as we can lock the computer also reboot it in view in various states we can scale the monitor and optimize speed various options are there for setting the view effectively the third option is communicate we can see we can chat or video chat and start internet call the mic the fourth option is files and extras we can even take the print printing of the papers or any important papers of office with these options as we can see there is an option called activate remove printing we can also take screenshots or start session recording we can even file transfer the files so all these functions we can easily do using team viewer this is a remote desktop so for the time being we are done with the team viewer so we'll close this window click okay as we can see it migrates to our to my desktop so this was one of the methods to access our remote computer so we'll close these windows and move to our next method which is installing the software kimpro remote desktop so for installing the remote desktop we'll first have to go to the apps folder of the browser chrome and we'll go to the web store as it will take time i've already copied the software name which is chrome remote desktop so we'll just paste it in the search bar as we can see well various options so we just need to choose chrome remote desktop extension various list of softwares comes up so we just need to add the first software which is in the list chrome remote desktop we'll just add to chrome a windows pops up we just need to click on add app as we can see it is adding to our chrome in the as we can see in the apps folder there is an extension called chrome remote desktop so we'll click on it this various options comes in like remote assistance or my accessing our own computer from anywhere so for we'll first see the remote assistance we'll click on the get started as we can see there are two buttons one is share and one other is access for sharing our computer to another that is the client computer which we want to connect to we'll share this and for accessing others we'll just click on it and access the other computer so first we'll go to share and click on it as we can see it windows pops up for downloading chrome remote desktop host installer actually which the computer which through which we want to connect is the host so we'll click on the accept and install we'll select the path and save it we'll see that it gets installed we'll go to the folder and install it by clicking directly clicking on it as we can see a windows pops up we'll click on run and yes as we can see this pen 
the user is used is for connecting to others so the other computer will try to connect it so this pin will be used when we want to access my computer from some other other computer so for the time being just for the demo purpose i'll cancel it and try to access some other computer by clicking on the access button so a windows pops up saying like ask the user whose computer you wish to access to click share and key with access code so the access code will be uh, the pin for 12 digit pin will be will pop up for the other remote desktop so right now as i can see uh, the uh, pin code is uh, as we the partners are uh, sitting besides so we can we are connecting it so i'll just enter its pin and click on connect so as we can see yeah this is our partners desktop so we'll minimize it we can go to anywhere so by accessing this we can go to anywhere and whatever we want. So in the same way, we can go to our control panel. And access the various settings of the computer, the same way we did it for the team viewer. So these softwares are very. So guys, these were the two methods through which we can access our remote software. So guys, please sub like, subscribe, share and comment below and stay tuned for further videos. Thank you for watching.